Okay, so what I did was I took a deep dive into the ESBC roster. I also did a little bit of comparing and contrasting with the uh, Fight Night Champion roster just to see how many people that we actually have from the previous Fight Night Champion roster and who may be missing off of that roster. Ultimately, man, I did it because we know that the community has always talked about ESBC adding more fighters and all that type of stuff. We've also seen conversations where people are like, well, they're kind of wasting their time adding you know, fighters that nobody really knows about. So I just really wanted to answer the question, are we looking at quantity versus quality? So before I even really get into it, I want to ask the question, man, and let's, and, and let's answer this down in the comment section. What would y'all want? Would y'all actually want a roster full of big names or do you want a very massive roster with as many people as possible? All right, let's try to get that out of the way first. Let's answer that question down in the comment section. Cool. So what I wanna do is I want to switch over to the Fight Night Champion roster. All right, so what you see is the most current Fight Night Champion roster that I could find online, man. And it, it's actually rather difficult to, to, to kind of search up. Um, if there are any names that are not on this list, please just add them down in the comment section or just make mental notes as it kind of goes on. But what you see is each one of the black arrows that's popping up next to a name, those are names that were in Fight Night Champions but are currently not in the current ESBC roster. Now there was a couple men that actually threw me off and there were some names that I wish that we actually had. Now, first, I know we have Sugar Shane Mosley Jr., but we actually don't have Father Sugar Shane Mosley, which I, I thought usually when we get that type of stuff, man, we would get him as package deals. Now, I, I, I think we should keep that in mind, barring that we, we do have the Fernando Vargas entire family, um, but we don't have names like the Charlo brothers and things like that. So could we get into a situation where we have one Charlo brother and maybe not the other Charlo brother, or when it comes to the Eubanks, we have one Eubanks and not the other Eubanks. So keep that in mind too going forward. But each one of these names with the arrows, as I stated before, is a name that is not currently in our ESBC roster. And I would also wanna ask, is there any name that's currently on the Fight Night Champion roster that you would like to have in the ESBC roster. And I know right off the bat, most people are gonna say Mike Tyson and Manny Pacquiao. So outside of those two names, are there any names that are missing that you would really, really like to see inside of ESBC? For me personally, if I had to point out two names, Zab Judah and Miguel Cotto would be two names that I would like to get off of this particular list and actually have it added to Esports Boxing Club. Now, not to have to state the obvious, but clearly the Fight Night Champion roster is nowhere near the size of our current ESBC roster that has over 200 plus fighters in it. And it actually just continues to grow because we know that there are names that they probably have phantomly signed that actually aren't added to the roster as of yet. We know that there are also names that, of course, that they have signed that, that may be waiting for uh, announcements and all that type of stuff, man. But Look, the ESBC roster is full, it's full of a lot, a lot of fighters, man, from across multiple weight classes. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe that Fight Night Champion was also across, but I, 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 it had multiple weight divisions, but I think it was across eight different weight divisions. In particular, heavyweight, welterweight, and middleweight, I believe, were the two particular areas that had the most attention as far as how many actual fighters were in those weight classes. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. All right, so what I also wanted to do, I wanted to throw in a list that my man Sandro sent to me. So shout outs to him for making and putting this list together. Um, look, y'all go over to Sandro's um, Instagram. I'll have his link down in uh, the description section of this video man he's actually doing a lot of things for the community man kind of like in the shadows so look y'all go over there give his instagram a follow all right so what this list is this was more of kind of like a wish list 
that he sent me for fighters that he wanted kind of in the game. So it is not all inclusive and there may be names left off that you would particularly want in. So don't lose your minds over the list, but I kind of wanted to run through because it does give a pretty good summary of fighters who we still do not have um, in Esports Boxing Club and it would be nice to get them in. There are a few surprises, so I won't go through every single name, but I will point out some particular names in each weight division because he does have this broke out in weight divisions. He even has it broken out to um, like the legendary fighters and things like that. So look, we'll go ahead and through it real quick. So, of course, uh, looking at the heavyweights, Anthony Joshua, without a doubt, uh, Andy Ruiz, uh, Dillian White, of course, I know my man, uh, Concept Reese, just can't wait to hear an announcement for Dillian White. Um, Parker Ortiz, we're not really going to get into the conversation about Ortiz and him being 100 years old, but I think Ortiz still needs to be in game. Daniel Dubois was actually one that was interesting to me, being that he is over from that side. Same thing with Anthony Joshua, but we know AJ is tied up in the UFC situation. So however that works out, we was able to get Tyson Fury. Um, maybe AJ situation is a little bit different, but him and Daniel Dubois, I was actually kind of surprised to include Dillian White, um, that we don't have those guys in the game. Uh, I would really love, so personal shout out to Sandro again, I would really love to get Tony Yoka in this game. Um, I think he has an, an amazing fight style, man. It would be great to add to this game. Um, Otto Valin, we know who was, who was recently announced. Um, as we continue to go through, so Bridgerweight, have they broken down the ESBC roster, roster into the Bridgerweight division yet? Um, Somebody confirmed. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen Bridger Weight broken out. I know there was the E3 um, trailer that had everything broken out into the separate weight divisions. I don't particularly remember seeing Bridger Weight on there yet. So um, maybe, maybe not. Uh, as we go through cruiser weights, uh, there's really not a whole, whole lot. Um, Lightweights, super middleweight. Uh, of course, Canelo Alvarez is in the game. Uh, we do know that David Benavidez is not currently announced, but if you looked at the E3 video and you could actually look in there with the, the roster that they had in there, you actually seen Benavidez's name. We do know though that he did a, an interview with Brian Custer where he was asked about being in Esports Boxing Club and he had actually something interesting to say and I'm gonna roll the clip real quick. Well, I am who I am for a reason. Uh, Ari asked from Twitter, uh, how long do you plan to stay at 168 and are you gonna be in that new boxing video game by Esports? I'm not, I uh, hope so. I, I didn't get invited to do that, but I hope, you know, hopefully they invite me and they make my character because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big boxing fan in Fight Nights. I love those games, so hopefully and uh, so as we continue to go through, I'll let y'all decipher all of that. So as we continue to go through um, and see some of these names, man, uh, there's, a, there's a lot going on here. Middleweight, of course we would like to see Gennady Golovkin. Of course we would like to see um, the Charlo, uh, Demetrius, Andre. Uh, any one of those guys would be great to get in the game. Uh, of course, the the other Charlo brother at, at Super Welter, we would love to have in the game. Um, Erickson Lubin would be another great name to throw in there. Uh, Welterweight, this is a big one. Uh, Errol Spence Jr. We kind of need to get our hands on Errol Spence Jr. Would definitely like your Dennis Ugas. Would definitely like Keith Thurman. Danny Garcia. Jerron Boots Ennis. Kel Brook. Like, like I, I, would I would take Adrian Broner, man. I, I would take... Any one of those guys, any one of those names is great to have. Uh, as we continue on, super lightweight, uh, Victor Postol, uh, Ramirez, uh, more great names, man. There's so many lightweight. Uh, Lopez, of course. We know Haney has currently turned it down. Um, Garcia, I would love to get in there. Uh, as we keep going, we keep going. 
Um, so many good names, man. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna continue to kind of roll down this list, but it, dude, there's still so many that are sitting out there. One, uh, someone who just fought the other day at Super Bantam is uh, my man, the monster, um, Naoya Inouye. He is one of my personal favorites, and dude, you would really make my day if we was able to ask add Naoya Inouye into this game, man. I think he his combination of speed ability and power man like there's it's so much there's so much to like there um let's see who do we got um anybody else to really point out so here we get down to the heavyweight legends man and there's there's so many legends out there george foreman uh one great legend that we would definitely like to get in evander holyfield another great legend that we would like to get in uh and and we just keep going and going and, and you know through all of these like great fighters, man, there's still such a huge list for people that we would actually really like to get in the game. And I'm really surprised that he put in a women's list, man. There's a there's a good portion of the community that's not really big on um, the women division. They may not necessarily follow them. They are starting to get a whole lot more uh, visibility though, especially when it comes to people like Michaela Mayer. Um, Alicia Baumgartner, who just got a, a massive knockout uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Amanda Serrano, you know, a lot of, you know, just just so many, so many great uh, female fighters and so much talent that we could still kind of get in, in, in the game. All right, man, and that's it. That's all I got, yo. You guys let me know what y'all think. So what do y'all think when it comes to the ESBC roster? Uh, is it quality or is it quantity? Uh, are, how does it compare to the old Fight Night Champion roster? You know what I'm saying? I'm sure there's people that's still on there that everyone would like to get in, man. So, of course, you you know, leave them names down in the comments, man. Let's continue this conversation down there in the comment section. I do want to give a shout out, though, um, to a couple of people. Of course, Sandro for sending me the list and um, Defend the Den on Twitter. Uh, you guys, man, like for sending me stuff, man, things that actually showed up in this video, man. Oh um, man, I, I can't thank y'all enough. You guys are cooler than a, you know, a fresh pair of butter Timberlands. You know what I mean? So appreciate y'all for always helping out, man. And, and, and to the community as a whole for, for sending me stuff, man. And I, look, y'all keep it up. Y'all keep me, uh, you know what I'm saying? At the forefront of information sometimes, man. So y'all keep that type of stuff up. And look, again, let's continue the conversation. Let me know what y'all think about the roster after a little bit of a deeper dive and a little bit of a comparison uh, to what we had practically 11 years ago at this point. So like I tell y'all every time, appreciate y'all for coming back to the Coach's Corner, man. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.